King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Kilograms, hectograms, decagrams, grams, centigrams, milligrams, yeah. yeah. Oh, I have so much homework. I have a history test, Spanish notes, and an English paper to write. Hey, wanna go get some food? Yeah. <laughs> El Baño. El Libro. Cafeteria. Shallow processing is a way individuals process information that uses only surface features for information processing. It focuses on spelling, appearance, and sound, and leads to short-term retention of the information. A student practicing their Spanish vocab demonstrates shallow processing because it involves repetition. Deprocessing is the encoding the meaning of information by thinking hard plus making connections and attempts to improve recall. <laughs> it just started. YouTuber. Okay, go. Alright, um, for, for my project for AP Psych, I am going to be doing, um, talking about deep processing. This is um, a practice test that I have for the, um, the midterms coming up. And so I'm going to take this practice test and it's going to be demonstrating deep processing because I'm going to have to like really think hard and uh, yeah, really think hard and process this and hopefully it'll make me do better on the big test. So what is chunking? Chunking is like taking a list of things and sorting them in a way you can better remember them. For example, you have a list of states you have to remember for whatever reason. You can sort them by whether they're on the east coast, west coast, or neither. Like this. That way you'll better remember them. <laughs> How do I remember George Washington was the first president? He's on the one dollar bill. One equals the first president. Wow. Oh, I can't remember the colors of the rainbow. Just use Reggie Bibb. Mile one, mile one, just for fun, just for fun. Mile two, mile two, just for you, just for you. Mile three, mile three, just for me, just for me. Mile four, mile four, I want more, I want more. Mile five, mile five, feel alive, feel alive. I'm gonna give you a list of terms and tell me which ones you remember best. Apple, music, carrot, paper, pencil, shirt, cup, Virginia, lamp, bed, soccer. Which one do you remember best? Apple, music, soccer. Why do you remember those best? Well, serial position effect is the tendency of a person to recall the first and last terms in a series the best. <laughs> Implicit, or non-declarative memory, is memory that is automatic and does not require conscious effort, but is based on previously learned motor skills. An example would be tying your shoe.
Hey, I know you from somewhere. Oh, really? From where? From Psych Class. Oh, that's right. I saw you there too. Yeah, are you Alex Gonzalez? I am. Oh, cool. See ya. I need to fill up my water bottle. What? I forgot what I was doing. Oh, that's right, I wanted to fill up my water bottle. <laughs> So, what happened to Evan and Alex? Well, Alex was instigating a conflict by existing. And then, wouldn't you know it, he just tripped and died. So what did Evan do? Hey, who's Evan? Hey man, can I borrow your notebook? Yeah, one sec. <laughs> What's your password? Oh, I forgot. Hey, can Shoot, that's my old number. 